Hi students, today we are going to discuss the new poem The School Boy which is written by the poet William Blake. Here the poet talks about the school boy, how he would be happy, what are the things makes him happy, some things makes um, some things make him unhappy what are those things so these are the things has been discussed by the poet william blake in this poem the school boy actually the poet talks about the nature of the school boy let us read the text to understand what exactly the poet wants to tell us about the school boy. Before we get into the text, let us uh, understand the introduction of the school boy. The school boy in the poem is not a happy child. The school boy in the poem is not a happy child. The poet talks about the school boy in this poem who is not a happy, happy child. Okay what makes him what make him unhappy okay why does he compare himself to a bird that live in a cage or a plant that withers when it should blossom so the poet talks about the unhappy school boy and the school boy compares himself with the two things first he compares himself with a bird actually the bird which is in a cage cage okay second thing he compares himself to a plant actually the plant that withers when it should blossom okay so or kundla or cage la iruka or paravai oda compare pandraru inno onnu or plant oda compare pandraru adu vandu or vaadi pona withered plant adoda compare pandraru actually it's supposed to blossom okay in the rendu vishayangalai oda compare pandraru who the school boy compares himself to a cage sorry to a bird and a plant and also the poet tells us that the school boy is not a happy one okay let us read the line and understand why it is happening first line i love to rise in a summer morn summer morn means summer morning i love to rise in a summer morning the poet the sorry the school boy is so happy to wake up in a summer morning why he he would be happy why why is that because the birds sing on every tree Huntsman wins his horn the skylark sings with him these are the things make him happy i love to rise in a summer morning when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman wins his horn and the skylark sings with me oh what sweet company he shares his happy feelings with us if these are the things if these things happen to me i would be very happy to wake up in the summer morning i love to rise in a summer morning when the birds sing on every tree okay the distant huntsman huntsman is a hunter if he wins his horn that sound makes him happy okay and the skylark which is a singing bird which is sings with me i would be happy so what a sweet company okay the boy says it is uh, these are the things make him happy and he feels okay what sweet company oh what sweet company i love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman wins his horn and the si- skylark sings with me Oh, what sweet company. 
in the second stanza it is quite contrast to the first one let us read but to go to school in a summer morn oh it drives all joy away under a cruel i outworn the little ones spend the day in sighing and dismay but to go to school in a summer morning it drives all joy away why it drives all joy away if i go to school in summer morning i could not spend my time with birds and the distant huntsman and the skylark so it drives all the joy away when can i get the joy when i wake up in the morning with the sounds of singing bird distant huntsman huntsman and the skylark okay he enjoys the company of the huntsman skylark and the singing bird but here when he is thinking to go to school he says that it drives all the joy away okay ella sandoshamo poidum because i have to go to school but to go to school in a summer morn summer morn means summer morning oh it drives all joy away under a cruel eye out own out own means exhausted okay or kalai padanju pona kangal okay cruel eye out own cruel means uh, unfeeling okay not uh, having much feel mean his or her eye under a cruel eye out own the little one spend the day in sighing and dismay sighing means um or salipa irukar salipoda okay he is not really enjoying okay sighing means mourning we can say like that and dismay means disappointment which is uh, disappointment which means or emotion uh, okay dismay so but to go to school in a summer morn it dri- oh it drives all joy away under a cruel i out own the little one spend the day in sighing and dismay let us move on to the third